Welcome back to Project 94 for another diecast review on the channel. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Ross Chastain's 2022 Jockey Made in America Chevrolet Camaro for Track House Racing. And what an interesting car right here. And of course, it's a patriotic diecast. However, this car did not even run in the Coke 600. It actually ran a couple of other different races. It was also on the number 99 of Daniel Suarez, which is really, really cool. This paint scheme was featured on multiple of the track house cars, the two track house cars, Ross Chastain and Daniel Suarez. So this paint scheme has plenty to go around um, watching the 2022 Cup Series season, which is now last year. And Jockey being one of the new sponsors is going to bring along a new paint scheme. And my, my, this one, and as someone that really loves patriotic paint schemes, this is one for the ages right here. Ross Chastain's Jockey paint scheme. So let's take a look at this one out of the box. This is really one of my favorites of the Ross Chastain cars to ever be made. Man, I was just hoping and hoping this would get made and hoping it was going to come out soon. And here it is. Without further ado, let's get the diecast review on on this very patriotic number one. So you got number one, track house racing right there, the Chevrolet Camaro front end stuff. And of course, you have Jockey with the hood vents over the decals. Finally, I did that right. Chevrolet Ross Chastain right there. You have Sunoco, Goodyear, NASCAR Cup Series, number one, Ross Chastain. You got Chevrolet Moose, Advent Health. You have Jockey, Made in America Collection. You got Advent Health right there. Two race winner stickers, which are from, I'd like to say, Coda and Talladega. Got Worldwide Express right there and Siemens. Over to the back, you have Trackhouse, Jockey.com, Made in America Collection. Number one, you have Chevrolet right there. Camaro, huge on the back bumper of these next-gen cars. You got ZL1. Jockey right there. Chastain. And, of course, Jockey again. So now for the paint scheme. It's spray-painted all white underneath. That is the first spray coat. And for the paint scheme itself, quite interesting. So it's going to start at the front nose, and it's going to wrap around the grill. More so with the red stripe than the red, white, and blue, or just the blue and white stars right there. The star pattern doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the grill, whereas the red does. Starting at the black splitter with the black spoiler, of course. And now that American flag pattern is going to wrap around the entire top end of the car. Just around the hood outlines, all the way across the roof lines. And it's going to stop right at the back pillars of the top of the car. And right at the edges of the top of the deck lid. And it's going to pretty much have that American stripe. The American stripe pattern and the star pattern. And of course... It's not going to take that much of the stripes. It's just going to be a little bit just across the hood. And that's it for the blue backdrop with the stars. And as far as stripes going across the top, you have, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So about seven stripes at the top, seven or eight, which looks really, really nice. And of course, the stripes stop right at the edges of that part of the wrap up top which looks really really cool and going across the sides of course you're going to have the stripe that starts underneath the Goodyear yellow Goodyear logo and it's going to be red and it's going to stripe across the side and of course it's going to stripe across across the one and it's going to stop right at the Made in America collection and the jockey logo it's kind of like a black almost like a particular like shape almost to kind of wrap around that so it's very triangular angles to that and it's going to stop right at the rear quarter window with the biofuel logo right there and of course three stripes going across the side the only full stripe is going to be the one towards the bottom part of the paint seam around the side skirt over the side marker where it's all black and of course the red very small bit on the quarter panel and of course the red stripe that's fully on there it's going to continue all the way across the back to be the Camaro. So that's the second stripe. It's going to be underneath the Camaro logo. And of course, you got a bit of the red stripe. The first red stripe. The red is just going to start around the Jockey logo on this side. As you can tell, the word Jockey has the letter Y up to this point on the car. The rear, the left rear. It's going to stop right there. 
So it's very small red stripe. And it's going to be a long red stripe just because of the shape of the letter. It's going to make it a little longer, kind of alter it a little bit in size. When you look at it from the top, just over the hips of the car, you'll notice the red stripe stopping. And it's going to wrap all the way underneath the black splitter right there. You can see a tiny bit of a mishap, not a big one. Just a decal slide right there. And of course, I got to bring this up too. Check this out. So the jockey logo on the hood has a black shadow as well as the one on the roof. Very simple font, right? Very nice little black shadow. But when it's on top of a white backdrop, it's just a simple gray, not a silver or anything like that. Just a gray version of the jockey logo. And of course, it'll have the Made in America collection logo on the side. And on the back as well, just a simple gray. Now for the number, of course, you have a black shadow, a blue outline, very dark blue, navy blue. Of course, the white outline, with a little slash and that blue number fill in. Very, very nice looking one. Just nothing more all American than a number one Chevrolet stock car. I mean, just this thing is just all American. Beautiful. And of course, the same type of number, again, that was on the roof, the same color scheme and all of that. It's going to be the same underneath the headlight and underneath the tail light on that end. And that is going to be a pretty simple paint scheme, but it is just really, really nice. Reminds me a lot of the Mars... Okay, you guys remember Kenny Schrader's car. I think it ran it. Was it Richmond? One of those types of tracks during the 2001 season? You guys remember that? And of course, Kyle Busch had brought it back a couple years later on the Gen 5, where that paint scheme was just completely covered in the American flag, which is very, very cool. Those were really nice cars. And of course, NASCAR Authentics brought back the 911. Fun fact about that 911 promo car, which kind of reminds me of this. This car reminds me of that promo car that was made for the 911 program. Uh, that car was only in the museum. You can only get it there on the PTC mold, and then it was re-released in the NASCAR Authentics. And it was much more expensive to get that car in the museum, whereas getting it for five, six dollars in NASCAR Authentics. So they put that car in that wave. This car looks a lot like it, but it is, you know, it is a bit different. They kind of had to alter that idea a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the scheme they were thinking of when they were creating this car. And I don't blame them. It is absolutely a beautiful looking die cast right here. And of course, the blackish grayish color rims return again. So that is going to be an interesting little point to notice right there about the rims. And other than that, that's a very, that's going to be the die cast. A very nice looking car. I love patriotic cars. And this car is as patriotic as it gets. Holy cow. What a beautiful car. This has to be one of the top Ross Chastain die casts for me. And of course you got, wow, you got a chip right there. So the car's already been in the wall. And of course you got some crinkles on the logo here, which is, yeah, the decal quality. Yeah, it, it strikes uh, again, just like the Ross Chastain train. It strikes again. However, it's still a nice die cast to have regardless. I really love the look of this car. This car is going to really stand out. Like, if you're collecting all the Ross Chastain cards, this is going to be the one that's going to pop. And for sure, for the Diecast series, the Flash Racing Cup series, and I'm pretty sure other people who have Diecast series will run this car as a patriotic scheme for the Coke 600. I will definitely be doing that and probably run it a little more because this car actually did run multiple races. I really, really love this car. This is just a beautiful, beautiful Diecast. And just giving you guys the close-ups, just amazing stuff would have been even more cooler if the one was actually the liquid color chrome uh, which would have been really awesome just a color chrome number but this number doesn't look bad either it still looks pretty good as you guys could tell this is good good stuff so i hope you guys consider picking this one up i'm not sure how rare this one's gonna get but it wouldn't surprise me at all if it becomes a popular one with the fans especially the track house fans this is a really I feel like this is going to be an iconic track house paint scheme if they keep it around longer. Here's the front of the car. Here's the hood. Here's the right side of the car. Here's the back. Here's the deck lid. Here's the roof. Here's the left side. And the underbody of this next generation diecast. Time will tell if we get the Daniel Suarez version of this car. Although, for now, I think I'm satisfied with having the Chastain one. I mean, it just looks really cool. Looks just fantastic. I really like this one. So, 
I hope you guys do too. Patriotic cards are really, really nice. Very highly collectible paint schemes. So this one I am expecting to be no different. And that is going to be it for the Ross Chastain Jockey Made in America collection. Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 for Trackhouse Racing's Ross Chastain. So very nice car for Chastain. I really hope you guys are able to find this one because in my opinion, this is probably the best Ross Chastain one. In my opinion, hopefully you guys, if you guys agree or disagree, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section about what you think of many of the cars, honestly. So looking forward to the next couple videos here on Project 94 as this one, this is probably my favorite. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. This is one of my favorite Ross Chastain cars. So glad it was made. Thank you all for checking this one out. Comment, like it, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next diecast review and as we wall ride our way out of this ross chastain diecast review always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your diecasts